Let's go ahead and begin our tapping exercise together. And if you were to begin tapping over your heart, I'd like you to just take a very nice, deep, cleansing breath so that you can relieve all the anger and frustration that might have built up for you over time. And we've tried to build into the language a lot of the different experiences that we've identified through our source technique in our work with private clients. So hopefully somewhere in the language you will be able to tune in or resonate to some of the words we're using. If we're not using the exact right words for you, feel free to make that translation in your mind and you can just edit the words to make it specific to your situation as we go along. Let's begin now by tapping over the heart. If you were to place your hand over your chest, over to the area between your collarbone and the heart, there's a nice fleshy area out there. I'd like you to just start tapping with your fingertips. And I will go ahead and say these words, and then you can repeat them after me. And I'll give you time so that you can do that. Let's begin and repeat these words. There have been times when I've been mistreated or neglected, and I might have decided I was unloved or that something was wrong with me. I am willing to release all the hurt, all the pain, and all the sadness I've been carrying. I've carried it long enough. Let's pause now and take in a long, deep, cleansing breath. And remember to go ahead and tune in to those times when you felt like you had to work for love, the times that you felt mistreated or neglected, when everything became hard and challenging. Now let's go to the other side of the chest. It's the same point, but directly across over to the other side of the chest and begin tapping now. There have been times when I've had to work for love, to be appreciated or valued. And no matter what I did or how hard I tried, it wasn't enough. I did everything I knew to solve it, to fix it, or change it. But it wasn't enough. I released the frustration of every time it happened. I forgive myself for not being able to solve it. Again, let's take a long, deep cleansing breath, allowing yourself to really tune in to what you're feeling and what's happening on the inside. These are things that we have tucked away, maybe for a lifetime. So don't be surprised if there's an emotional response. These are things that we try to push away, pushing into the vault our emotional vault that we're holding in the center of the body. But today, with your willingness, we can bring these things right out of the vault so that we can let them go together. Now let's move on to the center of the chest. I really like this tapping point. It's down kind of just a slightly above the breastbone in the center of the chest. And go ahead and repeat after me. I release all the anger all the frustration, and all the sadness of every time I was mistreated or overwhelmed or cheated or betrayed, abused or neglected. I deserve love. I deserve only love. It isn't fair to be mistreated. It isn't right for people to do this to me. 
I release all the pain and all the anger from every time it happened. Taking another long, deep breath, giving yourself permission to tune into it We've all had experiences that threw us into a place of overwhelm or fear or shock or sadness or disappointment, and today we are bringing up those experiences that have been frustrating and especially those ones that make us angry. Your anger is one of the quickest ways to block your weight loss because without releasing the anger, you will be armored up against the world. You will armor yourself against more pain. And today, we will join together so that you can lay down that armor. And we're going to do that together. Let's go now to the top of the head, tapping around in a small circle. And repeat after me. I release all the roots and all the causes of all the pain every time I've been hurt, every time I've been persecuted, every time I was taken advantage of, I release it now. I deserve love. I deserve only love. Take another long, deep, cleansing breath. You are doing great. I know this isn't easy, but this is the way that we can free ourselves. We don't need to carry this. We have carried it long enough. We have allowed it to overtake our lives. And today we are saying no more. We are ready to let it go, and we are letting it go. Now let's go to the eyebrow point. This is on the inside of each eyebrow, located right over the bridge of the nose. You can actually put your index finger and your middle finger on the two points at the same time, just about an inch apart, over the bridge of your nose. Let's go ahead and and you can repeat after me. There have been times when people I love rejected me, judged me, or abandoned me. And the pain might have been more than I could bear. I release all the roots and all the causes of all the sadness and all the pain. I've carried it long enough. I am done with the pain. Take in your deep, long, cleansing breath, releasing all those feelings of rejection, judgment, and maybe abandonment. There's nothing more painful than feeling abandoned, especially by someone you love or someone that you would love to have in your life. As we release these feelings and emotions together, this makes room for a much higher form of loving relationship. Now let's go to the side of the eye. This is on the bone socket, right on the side of your eye. It's not back on the temple. It's actually right there on the side of your eye. And you can tap on both sides of your eye at the eyes at the same time or just one at a time. And repeat after me. There have been times when I felt unloved, unappreciated, unworthy, unimportant, or not valued, and maybe even invisible. I release all the anger, all the frustration, all the sadness, and disappointment from every time it happened. I've carried these feelings long enough. Again, let's use a nice, long, deep breath to release and let go of all of those old, painful memories and feelings. You'll still have the memories, 
But where we want to get to is where you'll have the memory, but you no longer feel like you're in the middle of it. If you're looking at a painting, it might be a very dark looking painting, and there's simply a difference from seeing a dark painting or feeling like you are in the dark painting. And today we are trying to reach that place where you can simply remember the incident but no longer feel like you have to relive it over and over again. We're moving on now to the tapping point that is under your eye. Go ahead and start tapping and repeat after me. There have been times when other people have dumped on me. They made me feel small, inadequate, or responsible for their pain. I might have felt overwhelmed. I might have felt guilty. I might have felt powerless because I couldn't change it or make it better. I release all the frustration from every time it happened. I release the weight of this burden and I turn it over for healing. Now let's go under the nose. I am ready to free myself from the pain of the past. And now let's take that long, deep cleansing breath, releasing every time that you felt responsible for someone else's pain. We really need to release this. These are the reasons that we tend to armor up and carry excess weight. It's just been too much for too long. Now we're going down to the chin point. It's the area just between your bottom lip and the top of the chin. Go ahead and start tapping there and repeat after me. There have been times when other people have controlled me, manipulated me, or used me for their gain. It might have cost me something that I wanted or valued. I am willing to forgive them so I can free myself. I can't be angry and peaceful at the same time. I choose peace instead of anger. Very good. Go ahead and take that long, deep cleansing breath, giving yourself permission to let go of every time when you have felt controlled, manipulated, or used by someone else for their gain. Take another deep, long, cleansing breath. And now let's go back over the heart and start tapping there. There have been times when I didn't get what I wanted. I might have blamed myself or someone else. I might have blamed God. I am learning that my grievances are blocking me from what I want. I release the blame, the anger, the hurt, and all the pain from every time it happened. I release my judgments and I choose peace instead of this. I am ready to release this for good. Take in that long, deep breath, completely letting go of all of those old, painful experiences. When you wanted something, you reached for something, you needed something, and you just couldn't get it, or you didn't have it, or it wouldn't happen. It is frustrating when this happens, 
But as we let go of all of those painful experiences, you're going to find that your mind restores to that natural blueprint, and the natural blueprint is that God's will is your happiness, and that whatever joyful idea you hold in your heart, it is heaven's gift to bring it to you. But it cannot come to us when we are holding anger, frustration, sadness, or disappointment. Those feelings are blocking our healed experience. Take another long, deep, cleansing breath. Let's go now to the other side of the chest, cross from the heart, and repeat after me. If I've been sabotaging myself or holding myself back, I forgive myself. If I've been feeling powerless, inadequate, undesirable, or weak. I am determined to see myself differently. If I've been placing my happiness into the future where it does not exist, I am ready for happiness right now. Take another long, deep, healing breath. If there's anything going on at that deepest level of the mind where you believe that you might be sabotaging yourself, you might be holding fear thoughts or anxiety, you might be holding on to judgments against yourself, we want to release and let go of all of that chatter in the mind, going to a place of forgiveness You have been doing the best that you know how. Give yourself that acknowledgement and then just forgive yourself. If we hold ourselves as guilty or we judge ourselves, these are ways that we will block our healing. Let's now finish with the karate chop point, tapping on the side of your hand right there at the base of the pinky finger and say, I am ready to be first in line for happiness with nothing to hold me back. I have no use or value for struggle, suffering, or pain. I am ready to reclaim the love the power and the greatness within me. Go ahead and take that long, deep, healing breath. Notice whatever is coming forward in your mind. There might be many more things or your mind might, your mind might be very clear and quiet. If there are more things coming up, be sure to go back to the replay and listen to this again and again. You can simply advance the scroll bar to the place where you'd like to drop right in and listen to the part that you need in order to clear that negative charge. Take another long, deep cleansing breath. We're allowing that highest and wisest part of our mind, our God intelligence, to help us with this, to pinpoint and show us what is hurting us so that we can let it go together.